Milwaukee family members say it's been difficult since Jayla Aguiano mysteriously disappeared nearly two weeks ago. After being dropped off at the Louisiana Boardwalk movie theater, she suddenly vanished. But now family members believe she may have left on her own. All I want you, baby, come home. I need you home. I've been crying every single day. Police and family members are continuing the search for 16 year old Jayla Anguiano. Some family member know exactly where she at, but they won't tell us nothing. For some particular reason, they won't let us know where she at because they are, she are very close to them. Her father says he dropped her off at the movies at the Louisiana Boardwalk in Bossier City almost two weeks ago. Jayla's father says he's not sure who she was going to meet at the movie theater. He says he assumed she was going to meet up with friends. He's also unsure if she ever made it inside. He tells me she was dropped off wearing tiger print bedroom slippers, a white shirt and black pants with no other belongings in hand. I'm suffering. It's real bad. I cannot sleep. I know I'd be tired to eat with anything. Initially, when KSLA News 12 met with Jayla's father, Roberto Peterson, he said he was unsure if Jayla was abducted. Because I don't know if she's been abducted and got no idea. I don't know if she's dead or alive. Hopefully she's okay. Persuasion got her where she at right now. Maybe somebody persuaded her to be there with them for some particular reason. Now, Peterson is seemingly changing his side of the story, saying he believes she left on her own. I believe she did volunteer and run away. He says his daughter has disappeared several times before and he does not believe she is in danger anymore. The same problem it was. Nobody a doctor, she had left. They, they, we caught her, they found her, and she came back home. And now she did the same thing again. That's what I'm saying. It, she's not a doctor. She left because she won that twice in less than a month. Family members say they plan to continue searching and keeping hope that Jayla will prayerfully return home soon. Now, the Bossier City Police say they are still actively investigating and searching for the missing teen. Anyone with information about Jayla's whereabouts is encouraged to contact the Bossier City Police Department. Reporting in the First Alert Center, I'm Jasmine Franklin, KSLA News 12.